I, I, this is a weird thing, I'll tell you about me. I do fantasy all day long, I do comic books all day long, 12 hours a day, and then I have to unplug just for my own mentality. I just have to, so I unplug and then I go to drama. And I would know mostly with no special effects, because I just drew special effects for 12 hours. I don't need special effects. I just need, give me fantasy, go here. So I don't go to the superhero movies, which may seem bizarre. I, I don't. So I go, Jeremy, I can't talk to you about Hawkeye, I, but I can talk to you about your other movies. And a couple of those movies, wow, you blew my mind. You blew my mind, you're an actor. And this role is a cop. I don't need you to put any makeup. I don't need you to put any prosthetic. I don't need you to put a costume. I don't need you to do anything. I need you to act your ass off like you did in those five movies I just mentioned that you were in. Are you interested? Now, I don't know. I didn't ask him why he got to yes or no, but he thought about it and then he went, yeah, sounds cool. Sounds like a cool acting game. And he was in. And all of a sudden, I got two. Now you got two. He was nominated for the Academy Award for uh, Hurt Locker. Now you got two. Now everybody's attacked. And then recently, and this was a good one for me, I, I attached Greg Nicotero. For do you? Woo! Woo! Yeah. Okay. So we got geeks and we got super geeks. <laughs> <laughs> so that's kind of good. <laughs> Greg Nicotero is the one behind all the work you see on, uh, all the zombie work that you see on The Walking Dead. If you like any of those zombies, that was Greg Nicotero and his company. And Greg Nicotero was so good at it and had such a good visual, they started letting him direct. He's now directed more Walking Dead episodes than any human being on the planet. So you've got this award-winning costume makeup guy who also happened to have created the costume in Spawn in 1997. So I worked with Greg. So he can do it. He just got way better in 20 years. And then he also became a director. So when I went into his office and said, hey, Greg, here's what I'm thinking of how Spawn does this. Because it's, I use these words in my script like morphing and changing and transforming. And everybody has their own mentality. And I explained to him what it was in my head. And, 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 and not a lot of it, this may seem weird, not a lot of it was using computer graphics. Not a lot. I go, here's how I want to do it. I'm not going to tell you because it spoiled the movie. So I, I go, here's how I want to do it. And because he had this director's eye, he went, okay, I got it. Hey, you know, if we do this, this will help a little bit. So he was coming at me with the director's eye, with the director's eye, with the director's eye. And very quickly, we created the look of Spawn. Very quick, it's done. Then he was, I don't know if any of you guys went to Madison Square Garden, they sort of did this big thing yesterday with uh, Walking Dead season nine. And Greg was in town, so he was texting me, going, Todd, we gotta get together, I gotta show you something. Todd, come on, Todd, Todd, Todd. <laughs> okay, I'll come over uh, yesterday morning. I go, okay, I'll meet you at your hotel in the morning. He's like, he's like a little schoolboy, right? He's like, he's going, have you eaten? 